hey what's up guys in this video we're gonna see how we can print the right pascal triangle in java so in this program we have one class called right pascal triangle and inside the main method we have created one integer variable row this will hold the number of rows our pattern going to print i have initialized it with the value 3 also we can take the user inputs for the row number next we have one outer for loop this will run from 0 to row minus 1 and inside that we have one nested inner for loop this will run from 0 to the value of i and in every iteration it will print one star onto the console and when these two pair of for loops finished their execution then we have one second pair of for loops in the program and they will start execution and the first outer for loop will run from row minus 1 to 0 and the nested inner for loop will run from 0 to i minus 1 and in every iteration of the inner for loop this will print one star onto the console so in the beginning the first pair of for loop will start execution and the value of i will be 0 so the nested inner for loop will run one time and it is going to print one star and then we have the line break and the control will go back to the beginning of the outer for loop and this time the value of i will be 1 so the nested inner for loop will run two times and it is going to print two starts onto the console and then again we are going to have the line break and in the next iteration the value of i will be 2 so the inner for loop will run three times and it will print three starts onto the console and in the next iteration the value of i will be 3 so the condition will be false so the first pair of for loop will terminate their execution and the next pair of for loop will start their execution so the outer for loop the value of i will be 2 and it will run from 2 to 0 and the nested inner for loop will run from 0 to 1 so it will run 2 times and it will print 2 starts onto the console and then again we have the println method so there is gonna be one line break and in the next iteration the inner for loop will run one time and it is going to print one star onto the console in the next iteration the outer for loop condition will be false so the for loop will be terminated and the whole program will be terminated and this way we can have the right pascal triangle onto the console so now i'm gonna save the program and i'm gonna compile and run the program and you can see the output we have the right pascal triangle printed onto the console so this way we can use the two pair of for loops where the first pair of for loop will print the first half of the pascal triangle and the second pair of for loop will print the second half of the pascal triangle so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you